um, <clears throat> featuring the absolute hellhole that is all of my laundry and my squishes. She, she's existing, okay? Um, the only eyeshadow that I'm gonna use, cause I'm gonna try to just stick to the palette, the only eyeshadow that I'm gonna use that's not in this palette is a black and a white. Lord, I hope I don't fuck this up. I'm using the black and the white from this palette. This is like very extravagant. You can literally just get yourself a black and a white eyeshadow. Um, I would also recommend having an eyeshadow your skin color. So like, for instance, I'm gonna use this one just to like clean it up. If you like put the eyeshadow up too high on your eye, I just use that to like fix it a little bit. It's really cold. I'm gonna start with an eyelid. Eyelid primer, would super recommend if you don't have one. This one's a solid one. It's the NYX, I'll do a little. Beauty Guru, fun fact, I had a YouTube channel. I did, I made like five, six, seven videos. I was loving my life. Well, this is the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeliner. It's awesome because it's waterproof. So even if you cry, your eyeshadow will still look banging. Um, it's also $6, so. Mine has like black stuff in it because everything in my makeup bag is covered in like black goop and that's disgusting. Um, I already have some eyeshadow under my eyes, so I'm not really gonna do this, but when you put your primer on, Wipe some under your eyes because when we put the eyeshadow on under your eyes, it's gonna like save you and it's gonna make sure it doesn't smudge off because that would be gross. Also, if you don't know how to do eyeliner, literally me neither. Um, so I just use eyeshadow and then I will use an eyeliner at some point. I don't ever do like a winged eyeliner, so if we have to do that, I'm kind of fucked, but whatevs. Um, also, this is totally a side note and has nothing to do with the eyeshadow look, but I'm a mess. Uh, this little, you can't even read it. It's NYX, again, I love NYX. They're cruelty-free, cheap, at Ulta, Target, Walmart, all the things. Um, this is the Tinted Brow Mascara. It's a nice little brow gel, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> it's so cool. Pro tip, it sounds ratchet, but if you use your fingers when you're trying to get a color to be super, super opaque, it'll show up super, super opaque. And again, like I said, it sounds ratchet, but bust out your pinkies, because we're gonna use them. You can like barely see it. If I bust this bitch out, like I said, is it necessary? Not super, but live your dreams, right? Everywhere that I'm not putting that white powder, I'm putting the skin color powder. If you have, hmm, if you have a loose powder that you use for like your face, would highly recommend setting your eyeshadow primer in that because it's gonna feel almost like kind of tacky or like sticky, but that's, I mean, that's good, but you still have to set it or else if you don't, if you put eyeshadow primer on and you don't use a loose powder or press powder or anything to like, set it over there so that it doesn't feel tacky anymore then when you go to put your eyeshadow on it's not gonna blend the way that you want and then you're gonna get frustrated and then it's not gonna look good and then you're gonna be sad and then we're not gonna hit so prime and then set it cool great Radiance. 40 doll hairs this was also 40 doll hairs and now he's canceled but his eyeshadow palette is great so fuck it the key to this is to be light-handed and patient if you just are like, man, I want to get a bold color, and you just grab a bunch and you slap it on there, you're going to fuck yourself over. So, yeah. So, I'm going to take this little periwinkle-ish blue color. I'm trying to make this educational, not just me fucking talking. Ooh. That was nice. Oh, I'm using a little round fluffy brush. I don't know if that makes a difference, but live your life and practice beforehand and figure out what you like best. I'm starting in the outer corner here. I'm trying to get decent lighting, but the mirror's fucking me up. I don't even know if you can see. Yeah, you can see me. Okay, cool. And I'm just doing that. I'm just starting on the outside. It's a super light layer. It's gonna look a little ratchet before we spruce her up. You could do this a lot more carelessly because we're gonna add glitter on top of it. It's all up to you. These are your decisions. I have hooded eyes, which sucks ass, but if you have them, then do what I'm doing. So, like, hooded eyes, what is that? I look so disgusting. What does that mean? It means that, like, when I'm sitting here like this, my eyelids are, like, closed. I never want to see that again. Even though I'm like, wow, there's a lot of eyeshadow. You literally can't see it. So that what you need to do... I'm adding more eyeshadow to my brush. Is you're going to have to bring it up just a little bit more until you feel your brow bone and then go a little bit higher than that. And you might be saying, Tabby, I thought you just told everybody to not put it up in their eyebrows. I did. There's a very small amount of space that's not your eyebrow. But as you can see, this is a rough idea, but as you can see now, 
when I look straight ahead, you can get some of that blue. Now we're gonna fix it a little. Bear with me. We're gonna fix her a little. Like I said, once you get the hang of this, you can do it relatively quickly. I haven't done this in like a month, so I'm kind of trying to take my time so I don't have to do this four times. And then you might be saying that looks like a lot. So this is our tiny little brush that we just used, right? Well, now we're gonna switch it up. I would highly recommend grabbing one of these guys. It's a big old fluffy brush. Not big in the scheme of your face, but big in the scheme of your eyes. This is a wet and wild one I bought from the Dollar Tree in probably 7th grade, and I am now in 14th grade, so it's probably been washed about three times. Would I recommend that? No. Is it? It'd be like that, though. And then all I'm going to do is just buff her out on the edges. Buff her out on the edges with a light hand. If you practice this, I swear it's not that complicated. I just have ADHD and I can't focus on what I'm doing. Anyway, so we want to darken this up a little bit because we want drama. We want drama. We don't want like middle school art teacher vibes. We want drama. So now that we've used this color, love her. Thank you for your service. We're moving on. Grab the darkest color like this. Again, with our little fluffy round brush. It's my favorite for doing creases with. It just makes me feel happy. And I'm just going to kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to focus on staying more inside of my eyelid this time. Since this is a darker color, I'm not buffing it out all the way. I'm buffing it out a little bit. You can't even tell, but my dog's in the background chasing the tail that she literally doesn't have. Grab this guy. Buff her out a little bit more. And just make it as dark as your little heart's content. Um, I'm super pale, so a little bit goes a long way. If you're not as pale, maybe do a little more, you know? And that's how the world works, is that you just gotta gauge it for what works for you. So this is what we've got going so far. Is she terrible? No. Is she great? Also, no. My black eyeshadow is dangerous. It's dangerous, but it's powerful. Use it. Use it with all of the... Try it again. With great power comes great responsibility. So be careful. Could literally buy one single, like, white and black powder. I'm pretty sure they sell those at, like, Ulta, but... I'm gonna grab this little brush. I think it's called a C brush. I don't remember. I haven't been a beauty guru since freshman year. Um, but it's really short and stubby, but it's a little bit fluffy. I'm just putting a tiny bit on my brush because a tiny bit goes a long way. We're going to apply and if it's not enough, we can add more. But it's a lot easier to add more. Ew. It's a lot easier to add more than take away. Right? Okay, beautiful. I'm going to put that right onto my lash line almost like it was eyeliner, keeping it in that outer part. So I took it just right here like that. And then I'm going to wipe off my excess and I'm super professional, so I'm just going to... You can also use your hand or a makeup wipe or a paper towel or your black leggings. But for the love of God, don't use your uniform. And then we're just going to buff her out. I also apply all my eyeshadow with open eyes, which I feel like is risky every time I do it. And it doesn't stop me. I added more. I moved it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of crazy. And then I'm going to go in with this guy. It's like the same thing, but a little bit longer. Is it the correct brush to go in with? I don't know. The beauty guru say not to pull your eyelid, but I have a baby face anyway, so give me, give me wrinkles. I don't give a shit. I'll just pay for Botox. Pro tip, we're about to apply our yellow. Grab your concealer. This is my Maybelline Fit Me concealer that's probably older than, um, like half of the team, but it's okay. No, I'm kidding. I definitely didn't have concealer when I was three. Lip gloss only. Taking some of this concealer, your concealer of choice, since $6. <sighs> And I'm just applying it. I don't I don't know how to explain this in a way that you're going to be able to actually see what I'm doing. And my words aren't helping, so I apologize. But I'm just going to apply it right to like... Yep. Bust your pinkies out. We're doing it again. Pinky powder. And I'm just scooting that concealer like into my inner eye. And then... I don't know if that makes sense. And then I'm like kind of fluffing it out. That make any sense? Debatable. That makes sense what I just did. I took my concealer and I just I dragged it across. Now I know I know I know I know I know I said set your I said prime your eyelids and then set them. But this time we want the pigment. We want the pigment. So we're not gonna set it. Bust your pinky out again because we want it to be super pigmented. I'm grabbing which one do I want? I want this one. We'll do the second from the bottom because the bottom just seems really insane. I'm going to pick it up with my pinky, like that. Mmm, beautiful. I'm going to throw I'm gonna throw it on there. I'm going to throw it on and see what happens. So let me throw it. Oops. 
yep, and drag it. So it'll throw it on the inner corner and then drag out with your finger, just like what we did with the concealer. Again, using your pinky is just a fucking power move. They never see it coming. They never know how you got that much pigment. And the truth is, you used your pinky. You can also use your ring finger. I have chubby hands, so my pinky is my only option. Does that. Does that make sense? And then it's not quite as bright as I would love it to be. Another thing you can do is you can put white and then put your yellow. But I'm going to use this yellow at the very bottom towards the inside because I feel like it could be brighter. I feel like she could be giving me more. Good enough. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm giving you tools. Is the yellow super popping in my inner eye? Not as much as I would love it to. Right? But that's what we have glitter for. So this is our base. I promise when you practice this, this can take you like five minutes. It would also be helpful if you only had the makeup out that you were actually using. And instead I have every makeup product since I was like 12. Mm. This is important. I'm going to use the glitter in the palette because I think it works about the same. But if for some reason you can't get your glitter to stick, you can also buy a loose glitter. This is NYX. I'm not sponsored by NYX. I would love anybody's money though if NYX would like to give me money. Anyway, it's a loose glitter. It's a face and body glitter. It looks like this. Again, it's like $5. Ulta, whatever. This one is the GLI 05. I wish it had a name, but it doesn't. That's all I can give you. It's a gold glitter. You can use that in place of the glitter that I'm about to use in the palette. Or if after so many competitions, um, I'm out of this glitter. But again, I'm going to be dipping with my pinky, so stay with me. I have a glitter glue. I have a glitter glue, and it's literally the key to this not looking like garbage. But I'm struggling to find it, and that's not good. Things that I do know where they are. This random toothbrush head to a toothbrush I no longer own. Things I don't know where they are. My effing glitter glue. The one I have is kind of a bougie one. It was overpriced because I was stupid and I just wanted a glitter glue. So I, I went to Sephora and the lady was like, this, this fucking, what kind is it? Is it Too Faced? I don't know. But she was like, this one's really good. No shit, it's really good. It's $30. I am from Nick's for like five bucks. I'm going to go try to find it in my living room. And if I can't find it, then we'll just have to pretend that my eyeshadow looks good. Oh, I actually do still own that toothbrush. Woo! This is the... Too Faced Glitter Glue that hasn't had a lid in two years. Don't fucking spend $20 on it. Don't do it. It's not necessary. It will be good. It won't be necessary. I don't know why. I used to use loose glitter on my face literally every day. I don't want to talk about it. Take this. What are we going to use? Our fucking pinkies. Ain't that right, Sam Dog? Boop. Anyway. Could you use a brush for this? Allegedly, yes. Have I ever used a brush for this? I don't think so. If you're uncomfy with using your hands, first of all, why? Are your hands gross or something? No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's fair. Mm. It does get stiff. Sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna apply this and you're gonna be like, tell you what the hell. You say we just did all that eyeshadow. Yeah, we did, girl. Yeah, we did, I know. Letter glue, bam. Apply it right on top of your eyeshadow if you don't move your fingers that much and you just dab it It won't fuck it up too bad, but you're just gonna apply a little bit of that glitter glue Everywhere you want the glitter. It's gonna be tacky. I start with my yellow half and then I'll move on to the other half It's still tacky, but you got to work quick. I'm dipping my pinky in it Bam and I'm just gonna pat it right on top where I threw that glitter glue and it's gonna stick And then I'm just going, and then I ran out of glitter glue coverage, like, right there. Oh, man. Don't put glitter glue on one finger and forget about it. Anyway, I'm going to have to use my ring fingers. Hopefully yours are less chubby than mine. They probably are. Okay, okay we're getting somewhere. Okay, I see you. I'm going to now apply it right on top of my blue. Could you use the same finger? Probably. Do I want to run the risk of mixing the colors? Not really patting it pat it if you smudge it it's gonna fuck everything up um and then i'm gonna use this big old chunky glitter right there again with my pinky just kidding my pinky is gold i'm using my ring finger and hoping for the best i do foresee myself having to buy another loose glitter in the future because i just pat this shit on like it's free is this intense fuck yeah it is do i give a shit no i don't i'm gonna grab my pinky and add a little bit more gold and I'm just gonna alternate with adding gold and blue glitter until my little heart is ringing. Okay, that feels kind of decent. I applied my glitter and everything still looks shitty. I'm gonna grab this little light blue color because she's cute and casual. And I'm just going to 
take it up top to kind of smudge everything out. You can buy little fallout shields, but I have never cared enough to do that. The only downside to doing half your makeup with your fingers is that then you run out of clean fingers. That's relatively cleaned off. And you might be saying, Tabby, no, it's not. And to that I say, I kind of already have this going on because I like to have colors on my eyes all the time because I'm just, I'm just quirky like that. But I would grab one of these guys, a skinny little guy. You can also grab an angled guy, but I feel like these are almost easier. Either one of these... Ah, this is another conversation about eye shape, so figure out what yours is. Um, since I have little eyes, my sisters are even worse, just like Asian eyelids almost, but along with having hooded eyes here, I have like no under eyelid, and it's nice because I don't look like I have bags under my eyes, but it sucks because I have no definition to my eyes ever, so in order to do that, you can kind of tell the difference just in between these two because this one doesn't really have any eyeshadow under it, and this one does. I add quite a bit of eyeshadow under here. If you have, like, really 3D eyes to begin with, you might not feel ne the need to do this, and that's totally fine. Live your dreams, but I do, in fact, feel the need to do this. So if you have th more 3D eyes, use something smaller, make a smaller amount because it'll go a longer way. If you have tiny little eyes like me, use one of these guys. It's a little boop. It's like a pinky, but it's not. I'm going to grab some of this blue, the darkest blue on the very bottom. <sighs> Literally don't pay attention to my face. But I'm just going to apply it right under my eye. Like I said, I already have some, so I'm really just touching it up. But you get the gist. And if you think it's too much, you can always add more after mascara. Because I feel like when I put it on, I'm like, wow, this is a ton. And then I put my mascara on and I can't even see it. I'm going to grab a lighter color, the blue that's one up top, so it's the second from the bottom, and I've got it on my brush here. I'm just going to do the same thing, just adding it on there, kind of connecting it with the top, but, you know, live your dreams. And if you want to be crazy, that's probably all I would do, but if you want to be super crazy and fun and exciting, always feel free to be fun and exciting. If anybody wants some squishes, you let me know. I'll give them to you for a bargain price because I have an addiction and I need to get rid of them. I grabbed the brightest yellow color. I'm gonna go under here and just apply it right there. Cute little pop. Pop. Pop, pop, pop. And I'm gonna grab my blue again just to connect it and not have a weird green space. Here's an eyeliner that I have. Boop. Super old. Came out of an Ipsy bag. Looks like this. Boop. Felt tip. Mmm. Best friend. Here's the trick to doing eyeliner. Just tiny little short strokes. I can't do a wing because they won't ever match, but tiny little short strokes above your eyelid and it'll help bring your shit together. Ready, set, go. Is this blended to the gods? No, it's not. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Is anyone going to notice from far away? No, they're not. And let me tell you, ladies, you pop a pair of falsies and it'll look beautiful. I have stubby little eyelashes that don't exist. This is what it looks like. It looks a little crazy, but it looks crazy when I show it to you like this because of my hooded eyes. I added a little bit of eyeliner. You can tell it kind of makes it defined, right? And with the eyeshadow, 